Today we bring you yet another jaw-dropping innovation from Africa. You heard me right, yo, I'm Dr. Cool. I told you folks that African youths are ready to shut down the Western world, and my guest, the Western world hasn't fully recovered from the shock of Maxwell Chikumbutso self-powered technology. Here comes this innovator. Let me guess you want to start calling this one another fraud or hoax again. Read my lips, Africans are more intelligent to detect your lies without lie detecting machine. And even more interestingly, this guy came with a different approach that will finally put the final nail on Western economy casket. He is not Maxwell Chikumbutso, it's not even close. He did sound like he is from Shenzhen, Africa. Trust me if I know which African country he hail from, I will keep that to myself. Because I don't trust you Westerners, your lies, deceit is out of this world, you have followed your father's footsteps and the poison that flows in their vein is more in yours, their envy, greed, looting, scam at a gunpoint. One of the most interesting part of this young, talented African attributes is that he have refused to seek for Western validations. No, bro came here to get the bag. Ha ha ha! Yeah! Shakarabata, Limpopo, Limpopopo, Hayabubusa in the Bosque. He is not interested in patent. He is not interested in your mainstream media useless attentions. My brotherly came for the bag of money, and I am so proud of him for that, brother. I will help you count out every bit of it. Suzuki Hayabusa. He came with Chinese model throwing his innovation into the market. Let the competition sell itself while leaving the West play catch up. Be my guest. I will share a clip of this development with you, my esteemed viewers. Yes, a television that runs on nuclear battery power, completely independent of external electricity sources. This is not a story about solar panels, inverters or fuel-powered systems. This is about a true energy revolution, a TV that powers itself through a compact nuclear power source. Yes, you heard right. Before you jump to conclusions, this is not Maxwell Chikumbutso's self-powered TV, though that invention has already shaken the global energy conversation. No, this is another African trailblazer, simply known by the name Fed, who has taken a completely different path. Duh. Using nuclear battery technology to eliminate the need for grid power altogether. Now let's talk about this miracle box. We will be sharing a clip of this nuclear battery-powered television before this video ends, which shows the unit functioning independently. No plug, no ill cable, no solar backup. The TV powers up instantly, plays media smoothly, and has no visible energy source connected to it. What's the magic? According to Fed, it runs on a compact nuclear battery. A technology that has long existed in theory and high-level industrial applications, but never quite made its way to consumer electronics. At least not practically, and certainly affordably should be another next question marks. This is where African innovation continues to disrupt expectations. To be clear, a nuclear battery isn't a miniature reactor. It doesn't use fission. Instead, it typically relies on a process known as radioisotope thermoelectric generation, or RTG, converting the heat released by a radioactive material into electricity using thermocouples. Uh, these types of batteries have powered space probes, pacemakers, and high-security military devices. But now, an African innovator has adapted this principle to something as humble and everyday as a TV. Not in a lab, not in a university test, but in the real world. That's not just engineering, that's vision, that's courage. For decades, we've been teased by the West with promises of nuclear-powered cars, homes, and household devices. Sci-fi-inspired documentaries, corporate prototypes, and flashy tech expos have displayed gadgets coming in the next 10 years, but somehow, the next 10 years never come. It's the same loop. Press conferences, patents, then silence. It's like the carrot donkey trick. Dangle something promising just out of reach so the masses keep walking, keep buying and never stop consuming. The Western model is one of endless upgrades, planned obsolescence and never-ending dependency on grids, subscriptions and supply chains. But here's the twist. While the West drags its feet, Africa is building. Away from media hype, away from corporate capture, inventors like Fed are quietly building devices that defy the rules, not for show, not for future promises, but for real-world application. This nuclear battery-powered TV is more than just a gadget. It is a symbol, a statement that innovation is no longer limited to Silicon Valley or European tech labs. 
Africa is no longer waiting to be included in the future. Africa is the future, building sustainable off-grid and people-driven solutions right now. We'll be sharing the video of this TV in action and when you see it with your own eyes, just remember it here, Tom. The I want to show you this uh, homemade TV of mine, which doesn't use electricity at all. It doesn't use electricity. So this is the TV stand for it. This one can turn around like that. So let me just bring the TV and I put it on. The TV will come on top right here. So this is the remote control of that TV I'm talking about. Okay, let me just bring it right now. Okay guys, so as you can see now, this is the TV. This TV can uh, turn around like this. You can also turn it like this. But my main aim today to show you is to show you at the back how it looks like. Okay, let me just turn it like this so that you can see at the back. Okay, so here is, uh, is at the back of this TV. This part and this part, it brings a nuclear batteries. These batteries are valid for 16,000 days, uh, which means estimating 16,000 days is uh, more than 30 years. So these batteries, guys, they are magnetic batteries. You don't recharge them. And once they are attached with the, the board, the motherboard, it generates DC current to supply the screen. Many comments come and ask me, are they rechargeable or what? You don't recharge them. As you can see here, there's no power cable. These are just the outputs, uh, connectivity like HDMI, like VGA, like whatever other things that, you, I, mean, I mean, other devices that you might need to connect to this TV. So about the power cable, here is no power cable here. You don't connect any power here. It contains the nuclear batteries, this both side. I will make another video uh, later alone to show you the batteries I'm talking about. Okay, so this part here, this white part, we still want to work on this white part. I want to put a host unit that if you have some devices which uses network, you can host the network from this TV. That's what I want to do. Because this TV works as a smart TV. You tune all DSTV channels, you tune all super sport channels, you tune all social media platforms, everything you watch on this TV. So my aim on this white TV, um, but here is to add a host unit if you have a cell phone your tablet your laptop you host on this one so that you can contract the network from this one to use your your tablet or your phone so that's my aim which means this tv is not done yet guys a lot of things that i still want to do that's why yet is not on the market okay let me just turn it like this again as you can see it turns like that and also you can turn it like this okay let's uh, let me show you at the front as well because i have shown you so far this side so that you can see how it looks like at the back okay So yeah, this is how it looks like even on front. I got no much things to tell. And also another thing, we still do not have a label name. Um, the label name will come somewhere around here. We're going to put the label name, which is the brand name. The brand name is still uh, not yet released or we're still elaborating so that once we have it, we're going to place on this TV, which means when you turn it on, it will bring the name, everything. But yet we haven't got something like that at the moment. So guys, that's what I wanted to tell you. Finally, what I want to do right now, I want to turn it on so that you can see that surely I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the truth that this TV doesn't use electricity at all. Okay, here's the remote control of this TV. Let us turn it on right now. You can see now the TV is on. As it is on like this, you tune any TV channel that you want to tune, you tune it. It doesn't matter where or whatever you want to watch. Let's go to another channel again. As for the channels, you just select the numbers as normal you a uh, remote control i don't know whether you guys can see well this one uh, this remote control but it exactly looks like it, some other tv's uh, remote control it doesn't confuse with anything i want you to use one two three until uh, ten you can come back again and select two two numbers like if you want to select eleven you just one one if you want to select twelve you just one two if you want to select twenty two you just twenty two and uh, two two just like that guys so yeah guys apologies i'm doing it outside so that it, uh, it can bring a very nice uh, clarity that uh, here doesn't use electricity at all. As it is playing like this, you can see here, there's no cable connected. That you can say, okay, there's a cable or what and what. I have explained the everything, guys. Guys, please follow me. Follow me so that you can get all the updates. And once you follow me, any video that I will upload it, you will get it and get the notification how it goes. How is the process of the TV? For those who want to buy, please follow me so that you can get all the updates. We are planning to release this TV to be across Africa first. First, we are dealing with the African continent it will be done as soon as possible so guys please subscribe to my youtube channel so that you can get all the updates that we'll be doing thank you so much i really appreciate it. goodbye imagine what this means for villages where power is a luxury imagine hospitals schools and homes lit and powered by devices that don't require wires or bills 
This is why inventions like this matter. They're not just tech, they are tools of freedom. Fed might be a name unknown to the mainstream media today, but his work speaks louder than a thousand interviews. By taking the risk of creating and demonstrating this nuclear-powered television publicly, he's not just showing genius. He's inviting us all to rethink energy, rethink ownership, rethink what's possible. When asked how long the battery lasts, sources close to him mentioned it could run for years without needing replacement. A far cry from daily charging routines or fragile electronics that die after 12 months. It's time we start shifting our focus from tech expos to real inventors, from flashy startups to functional solutions. While the West continues to play the game of promises, Africa is already pressing play on the future. And this nuclear battery-powered TV is only the beginning. Keep your eyes open. It's just remember, it's your thumb. The energy revolution is not coming. It's already here. And this time, it's African-made.